The centerpiece of Patriot Place, Gillette Stadium is the location for this exciting matchup between the Seahawks and the Patriots. We got a crossover conference game about to kick off here. Any thoughts before kickoff, Phil? Well, these two teams don't know each other very well. So when you don't know the other team real well, you know what happens? You get surprised. A lot of big plays. This will be fun to watch. Steven Gostowski is readying his team for the kickoff. And he runs it out to about the 27 before he's taken down. Baldwin's in the slot. Now first to ten. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. The Seahawks now move the chain. After that long run, that running back deserves a break. Go over to the sideline, let a few guys pat you on the rear end, and tell you how good you are, and then get a little oxygen and get back in the game. What a run. Coming up, second down. Throwing now to his left. Percy Harvin with the grab. Good job by the play caller that time. Calling for the short pass. Even though it comes up short of the first down, it opens up many things that you can do on third. You can run a reverse, draw plays, screen plays, or if you want, you can still throw it down the field. Marshawn Lynch is in the backfield. Lynch has got it on the handoff. Lynch with an impressive run. Rhythm, you hear it so often in sports, and it is true, especially on the offensive side. That's another first down by the offense. They got some rhythm, and these kind of these kind of drives usually lead to scores. Well, the offense has done a good job getting down inside the 20 in the so-called red zone or green zone by some teams. But the defense, you can be a little more aggressive now because you don't have to worry about the length of the field. It is shortened, so take advantage of it and attack this offense a little more. So, first and goal to go. Takes it across, and he's in for the touchdown. How about that? The fullback scores the touchdown. He does all the blocking. Gets beat up all the time, but nothing like getting the football where you can score to get it done. Makes the PAT. Steven Hauschka ready for the kickoff. And he begins his return. He is tackled at the 40-yard line. Offense lines up here. First and ten. This is a screen play all the way. Hall. Nice play call that time by the offensive coordinator. A little screen pass to the halfback. He knew the defensive line was going to be charging hard. They were, and it picked up some nice yards. Tom Brady under center. First and ten. Ridley's handed the football. 
good coaching on the defensive side. Everybody stays at home, they stay in their gap, and they hold that run to a short gain. Second down coming up. The give. And he'll go to the left. It's third down coming up. They're setting up screen. Nobody was going to catch him there. Touchdown. Well, that score ties the game up. Now on the defensive side, you've got to come out there and take advantage of this, this feeling you got going now and get the football back for your offense. Extra point, the kick is good. Patriots now getting ready to kick it away. And they're all over him at the 18-yard line. to the line and it's first down throws to the right incompletion forcing it into double coverage this is frustrating for a coach you call a play you get the receiver down the field on a quarter route and your quarterback cannot put it on the target second down looking to the right side and throwing He'll be brought down, but not before picking up the first down. What a nice catch by the receiver. Getting past the yard markers, makes the catch, and gets the first down. First down here after the completion. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. That's a nice route that time by the wide receiver. Running the corner route, and the quarterback just throws it too far and misses it. Baldwin's a receiver in the slot. Got a little jumpy there, Phil, and that's a five-yarder for encroachment. Yeah, I'd say he is a little bit jumpy. Quarterback, good job by him taking advantage of it. Still second down. Russell Wilson has it under center. Second and five. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Has the reception all alone. In the books. Touchdown. you got to take advantage of situations like this. Not often in the NFL do you get somebody this wide open. Good job by the receiver. Nice job by the quarterback seeing him. And what do you get? Easy touchdown pass. It's good. Seahawks ready here for the kickoff. at the 18-yard line. Ridley lined up in the backfield. First and 10, going across the middle. It counts on him there. It's just a good example of how the NFL has changed. If you want a big play, you don't always have to throw it down the field or design something special. To throw it to these wide receivers short, we can see they're able to take short passes, break tackles, and with their talent, they get long games. 
and Amendola lined up in the slot. The quarterback will hand it off. Nice run that time. You run the football like this over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. Second down now. Snap back to Brady from the gun. The Patriots get a first down. The defense thinks they have the guys to play man-to-man -man coverage down the field. Well, they didn't that time. The receiver made a nice little move, gets open, and a good throw by the quarterback. Hey, Alabama, Alabama. This will probably be the last play of the quarter. That will bring us to the end of the first quarter here in Foxborough. We'll return in a moment for the start of the second quarter. The Patriots still possess the football as we begin the second quarter. lined up now as a slot receiver. It's Ridley. He's in the clear. The 30, the 20, the 10. All the way home and all alone. Touchdown. Good job by the offense. They get in there. They tie this game up. Now we'll see if the defense can take advantage of that momentum and keep it on their side. The Seahawks are in shape now to return the kick. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. Baldwin's going to get set in the slot for this snap. Looking across the middle, Baldwin's got the cool hands on a pass that had a lot of heat. Another name for the fly route, the go route, it's a streak. And that means they want you to be a blue streak, run as fast as you can, get by that defense and make a big play. And incompletion right there, but it really should have been an interception. Quarterback was under a lot of duress on that pass, and alas, it's incomplete. I, I listen, I know he was under duress, but you got to hit these type of throws in the NFL. You're not always going to get perfect protection. That's not a good job by the quarterback. And now they'll try over again on second down. He's looking to the right here on this throw. He steps out. When you get aggressive safeties, you like to get up there and try to stop the run. The post route is an awesome way to take advantage of that. Go down the field, 10 to 12 yards, plant that outside foot, run towards the goal post. Nice throw by the quarterback. After the long game, let's see what they do here. Trying to work that left side. Good job by the defense. They are all over the throw by the quarterback. They almost pick it off to of the end zone. Well, that's a big opportunity missed when you drop a pass like that. And here we have second down. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Out of the way. Uh, take no chances when the football is thrown in the end zone. Don't go for an interception sometimes. You can kick the ball up in the air. Hey, don't do that. Knock it down. Marshawn Lynch is in the backfield. Here it's a third and ten. Throws the pass. Throws it in the end zone. Touchdown. Nowadays, so many kids, they grow up, they want to be wide receivers. I don't blame them. They're out there, they get to catch the football, they get to score touchdowns, they get to do dances, and you're not really allowed to hit them either. What a job. The Patriots prepared to return the kick. He's 
got a chance to return this one. And they tackle him down at the 37-yard line. Amendola's in the slot. First and ten, and it's Ridley for about five. That was a running play that time by the offense. It picked up some good yards. Nothing like it. Show the defense you're willing to get in there and slug it out and get some tough running yards. Second down after going to the ground game, the first play. Goes to the left. That little crease. Ridley rips off a long one. Nice run that time by the running back. And if they keep running the football like this, it's just a matter of time before they fake it and throw that football over the top of the defense. They are being physical. The running back doing a good job, and they are making it happen in the running game today. Here they come, back to the line after picking up over 20 yards on that last play. Got to give the defense some credit on first down. There's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. Tom Brady will be taking this one from the gun. Second and 11. He'll throw it over the middle. And he's going to be tackled right around the 31-yard line. Good job that time by the quarterback. Throw the short pass. Even though it doesn't result in a first down, now on third and short, all of your passes are in play instead of just the third long where you only have like three or four plays you can go to. The New England Patriots beaten in the playoffs by the Baltimore Ravens. The Ravens, the one team that never has been afraid to come to Gillette Stadium and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Patriots, and they beat them in that spot a year ago. I think the big thing there was is that the Ravens are a smart football team. You couldn't fool them with all your shifting and motion and different style of plays. They, knew, they know how to stack that up against the Patriots, so... Patriots so are loaded. They still have a quarterback in Tom Brady. They're always a factor. Handoff out of the eye formation. Two minute warning. Amendola's a receiver in the slot. Has the first down. Good job by the offense. Get another first down. You can tell by looking down on the field, the defense hands on their knees. They are getting tired. First down here after the run. Back to the ground. Left side. Picks up six. Good job that time by the old line. How about that? Nice blocks, and they got a nice little run there inside the red zone. This will be second down. 20, 20, 20. Staying on the ground. Touchdown. That'll close the gap. When you're behind in the football game, drive down and score. They did that. Now the next time when they get back out there, they got to do it again. Show some patience. 
and drive it down the field. Inside of the uprights. The Seahawks are set to return the kickoff. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. trying to avoid the deep pass. Now, makes the move to the right. Brought down at the 29. It's now second down. Incomplete, almost going in the other direction. Baldwin's lined up in the slot. Third and four. Screen pass. So a three and out. The quarterback should have never thrown at that time. Even though he completes the pass, he should have seen the defense was right there. A loss of a couple yards. Nickel formation here for the defense. to his left. Baldwin's got it on a pass. Had some heat on it. Yeah, I'm sure you're really proud of yourself that time. You go for it on fourth down. You get it. I'll give you that, but I still think it was a bad decision. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. The Seahawks now move the chains. A timeout charge to the offensive unit. You can't be faint of heart. In other words, don't run away. Sometimes you got to stand in there, throw it down the field, and take the hit. Good job by the quarterback that time. Line of scrimmage, the 43-yard line. <laughs> Russell Wilson will take it from the gun. Airing it out. What a catch. Touchdown. Man, what a touchdown there for the offense. The quarterback just fires that football in there. Look at the defenders around the receiver, but the receiver big enough, tough enough to go up in there and make that catch. The point after try is in the books. So that's going to do it for this first half. We'll be back with our halftime report after the break. We're back here now in this one, where the Seahawks are leading by eight. A check to the sidelines with Danielle Bellini reporting. I had a moment to quickly speak with Brandon Spikes at halftime. His team is trailing up to this point, but he thinks his defense can turn this thing around, guys. He said we just need to create opportunities for our offense, whether that's turnovers or good field position. If we do that, we can come back. That's all for now, guys. Back to you. Danielle, thank you very much. Now we'll go to the field. And Amendola's lined up now as a slot receiver. And here we go, the first snap of the second half. Very nearly intercepted. Failing to complete that one, so second down here. Brady is in the shotgun, and he's thrown to the ground. 
That's what all defensive coordinators love to see. They don't have to blitz, and one of their defensive linemen gets a sack without any blitzing. Offense lines up here, third and 17. Rob Gronkowski with the grab, and he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third and long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. We'll go with the extra tonnage here with the jumbo set. Play action. The Seahawks turn the ball over on downs. Terrible game management that time by the coach. It's three downs, it's fourth down. What should you do? Well, I think you should punt it. He goes for it and puts his defense in a tough position. <laughs> 